Hey guys, it's Robsy, back with Paperless Humans. Welcome to episode 8 of this free course for Apple Notes on the iPad. Make sure you subscribe for more free courses on different apps. The lasso tool in Apple Notes picks everything on the page. So you can move it around to rearrange your notes. Tapping on the selection brings up a pop-up menu that lets you change the color of your text, handwriting, and shapes in that selection. You can also cut, copy, delete, and duplicate the selection. Apple Notes lets you insert space above the selection, then adjust it. You can also create space between sections by simply tapping an empty space on your page, then insert space. This not only creates space, but it can also remove it which is helpful when you've put too much space. The easiest way to create space in your notes is to just draw a line where you want some space using the lasso tool. You can then drag the line to create as much space as you need. When you don't want to move everything together, Simply tap on the items you want to move. You can tap your image. Text box. Shapes you've drawn with the shapes tool. And signatures. Tapping on hand-drawn shapes doesn't work though. For that, you have to use the lasso tool to select the shape and then move it. You can also use the selection tool on your handwritten notes. When different items are close together, selecting your handwriting alone can be challenging. In such cases, it is better to use Smart Selection. By long pressing your handwriting, you can select it as though it is text. This only works on your handwriting and nothing else on the page. It can't even pick up highlighters. Each item on your page has some unique functions that pop up when you select it. You can share your shapes, signatures, text boxes, and images out of the app as images. You can also straighten your handwriting. That is all about the lasso tool in Apple Notes. Thank you for watching. See you in the next episode.